Up next is Ann Richardson. Autographed handkerchiefs, nothing to sneeze at. Anne's going to be talking about some of her 6,000 handkerchiefs, many of them autographed going back to 1935 when her grandmother started the collection. In 1932, my grandmother, Corda Hogan, joined a hobby club and began collecting handkerchiefs. Some of her friends signed their names to handkerchiefs that they gave her so she'd remember who gave them to her. So she thought, why not send to famous people and have them sign them? And in 1986, she gave me her collection of about 3,000 hankies. Eddie Rickenbacker was the top ace of World War I. In 1942, he was on a plane that crashed, and he and six men were adrift in the ocean for 21 days. My grandmother read the story about it in the New York Sun. She wrote a letter asking for the survivor's addresses, and she received a telegram back, and that's how she communicated. Well, when my grandmother sent a handkerchief, she asked them to sign in pencil because back in those days, fountain pens would splotch. So here is Richard Byrd, the man on the left, and he thought he was the first person to reach the North and South Pole by air. He wasn't. <laughs> Orville and Wilbur Wright were the first gentlemen of flight. Wilbur passed away in 1912, but Orville signed a handkerchief for my grandmother. My grandmother would send a handkerchief ask them to sign her handkerchief, or better yet, sign one of their own and send it back to her, keeping the handkerchief that she sent to them. In 1936, my grandmother went to see Amelia Earhart and hear her talk about her upcoming flight around the world. At the end of the speech, Amelia asked the audience for questions, and my grandmother raised her hand, said, would you sign my handkerchief? And Amelia said, come on up, and she signed it. And the next year, she disappeared. These are the original Mercury 7 astronauts. This is Scott Carpenter, Deke Slayton, Wally Schirra, Gordon Cooper, John Glenn, Alan Shepard, and Gus Grissom. Now, John Glenn was the oldest of the seven, and he's the last one still living. Uh, Gus Grissom drew the Mercury 7 symbol on his handkerchief. And he was in the Liberty Bell 7, excuse me, <laughs> when it splashed down in the ocean, the hatch exploded and he almost drowned. And then in 1967, he was killed in the pre-launch test. Jackie Robinson played for the Brooklyn Dodgers for 10 seasons. He's the first African-American baseball player in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. In 1949, the Brooklyn Dodgers were in the World Series. So my grandmother sent a handkerchief and asked the whole team to sign it. So Jackie Robinson, Roy Campanella, Pee Wee Reese, Gil Hodges, Duke Snyder, and Jack Banta, who lived here in Hutchinson. Also the rifleman, Chuck Connors, played in that series and he was a professional basketball player. Babe Ruth signed with a fountain pen and it splotched. But George Herman Babe Ruth was a left-handed pitcher, but he wanted to play in every game, so he asked to go to the outfield. He played for an amazing 22 seasons. Other athletes are Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Shaquille O'Neal, Nolan Ryan, Willie Mays, Dizzy Dean, Joe Montana, Roger Staubach, Bo Jackson, Hank Aaron, and George Brett. The 1994 Nobel Peace Prize went to uh, Yasser Arafat, Shimon Perez, and Yitzhak Rabin. So I sent them all hankies and two signed, Shimon Perez and Yitzhak Rabin. And a few months later, Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated. These are other leaders, world leaders, Hosni Mubarak of Egypt, Corazon Aquino, Prince Albert of Monaco, uh, Emperor Akihito of Japan, Indira Gandhi, Kurt Waldheim of Austria, Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, and Lech Valenza. <laughs> Helen Keller was born with sight and hearing, but at 19 months of age, she became ill and lost those senses. Now her autograph is very plain and she signed it in pencil like my grandmother asked. These days I asked, I asked people to sign and date the handkerchief 
with a Sharpie marker because I forget. This is a 1939 handkerchief of the Wizard of Oz. Here's Judy Garland's autograph and Toto's paw print. <laughs> And then in 1989, Liberal had the Munchkins come to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the movie. So here are their autographs, including Jerry Marin, who's the last surviving Munchkin. Also in 1939 was Gone with the Wind. Here are the autographs of Olivia de Havilland, Vivian Lee, and Clark Gable. Now, a cartoonist saw Clark Gable eating carrots in the movie It Happened one night and came up with the famous cartoon rabbit, Bugs Bunny. This is Philo Farnsworth, the inventor of modern television. James Watson, the co-discoverer of the DNA molecule. Lise Meitner, the co-discoverer of nuclear fission. Jonas Salk, who developed the polio vaccine. And Jack Kilby from Great Bend, who invented the first calculator. Milbina Dean was two months old and the youngest passenger on the Titanic and the last surviving, uh, last survivor. Her family was headed to Wichita from England and they were going to uh, open a tobacco shop with other family members. Milavina, her brother and mother survived, but her father did not. These are other survivors. Gabrielle Giffords was the Arizona Congresswoman who was shot in the head. Uh, Elizabeth Smart was uh, kidnapped from her bedroom and held for nine months. And Captain Rich Phillips was kidnapped by Somali pirates and he says you are stronger than you even know. Louis Zamperini is the subject of the movie out called Unbroken. He, was, he ran in the 1936 Olympics and he was in World War II. His plane crashed and he survived 47 days adrift in, at sea. The Japanese captured him, they tortured him, and that's the end.